coaches, let's take a look at the Stanford Cardinal and their version of the Princeton offense, which they call Jersey. We'll look at their transition offense and flow into the Princeton actions over the top and away. First, some transition offense teaching points. Here you see the Stanford rim runner sprinting even with the pro lane line opposite the ball. When the rim runner gets to the elbow, they cut into a seal at the front of the rim. When the player leading the break passes ahead to the wing, they cut away to the far corner. The first option with the ball on the wing is to enter the low post if they've established position. Another transition possession after a made basket. You see the rim runner sprinting opposite the ball, the pitch ahead to the wing followed by the cut away to the far corner. At the elbow, the rim runner cuts to a post seal. This puts Stanford in their low alignment. A player on the block, on the wing, and three players opposite at top of circle, wing, and corner. More details from the same possession. You see the lead guard passed ahead to the wing and the post cuts diagonally from the elbow to a ball side post seal. The guard who led the break is cutting away to far corner. Also note how the trail post and the opposite wing execute an interchange with the trail post cutting inside to rub cut the wing free to the top of circle. transition flow here as the pitch ahead to the wing leads to a cut away and a rub cut interchange brings a guard to the top of circle. When the wing passes to top of circle, the cardinal segue from low alignment to high alignment. The low post flashes to the elbow while the wing drops to the deep corner. With the ball at top of circle, the first option is to enter to the player in the pinch. The feeder may then cut over the top, middle, or away. In these clips, we'll see over the top cuts. This is what is commonly referred to as point series in the Princeton offense. Here's a transition possession flowing from low alignment to high alignment. The ball goes into the pinch and the feeder cuts over the top and heads for an exchange, as Stanford calls it, with the player in the corner. Most often, you see the corner player reject the action and cut to the rim, and the screener pull back to the ball. Similar possession here with flow from low to high alignment and an over the top cut to an exchange in the corner. This time the corner player wraps or curls the screen and the screener pulls back to the ball. The pass to the pullback is followed with a wing ball screen. transition to offense much the same. But when the ball goes into the pinch in high alignment, the feeder cuts away from the pinch to exchange with the wing. They want to meet for the exchange about half the distance between them. One player rejects, the other pulls back. 